and welcome back guys. In this video, I want to talk to you all about the GPT Researcher multi-agents flow. So if we go into our root folder, we have a folder called multi-agents. I'm going to click into that and I want to talk to you about this little visualization over here. And the great thing about this flow is uh, we kind of took GPT Researcher, but we changed it, uh, changed the flow a little bit to allow it to self-reflect. So instead of it being just one agent doing all the work, it's actually multiple agents uh, with the option of human feedback as, as the first step. And these agents are actually uh, kind of passing JSON uh, back and forth, or the JSON is used to kind of go left and right and make decisions. Um, and and uh, I'll give a, a demonstration of how this works. So if I go into the web app, for example, I'm going to go into multi-agents and save that. And I'm going to say, how does GPT researchers multi-agent multi -agent flow work? All right. And that's pretty much all I need to do there. It's going to begin the research for me. Uh, so it's still using this AI technology agent that's generated on the fly. It's going to search the web for a bunch of resources. And let's see what it does. Okie dokie. So check this out. Um, it's uh, grabbing some sources, okay, like we saw in the previous videos as well. Sources is the first step, right? It's actually also taking, uh, breaking my question into sub-questions. And that's a really powerful idea. Uh, that's not just in multi-agents, it's, it's also in the regular report where it'll think, the agent will think through my question here and it'll say, in order to arrive at a, um, at a balanced, right, calculated answer uh, to the user's question, maybe I can split my research into a couple of different pieces. So instead of just researching, just how does, re uh, how does GPT research or multi-agent flow work, it'll first break up my question into four, these four questions, uh, understanding lang graph in GPT researcher, GPT researcher and lang chain, deploying GPT researcher multi-agent and, and so on. So it's taking all my questions, it's gonna grab a bunch of sources and here we go, it's gonna write the, the original report. Check this out, it writes the original report but, but it doesn't stop there. So I can still stop it at this point. It's actually going to do a little more work under the hood. So let's go back into the visualization to see what it's doing. It takes, it writes the original, uh, the original report. We're at this part. So the editor is kind of the orchestrator here. And um, he writes the original report. Then there's some more agents down the flow. So it's going to be a reviewer, a reviser, a writer, and a publisher. Let's go back into our flow over here and wait just a bit. It's a little bit longer. Again, this is only going to cost you something like seven cents, but it's going to be a huge amount of uh, sources that are that are fetched. So, and have a look at what happened with our sources here. The agent is continuing evaluating, curating sources by credibility and relevance, whereas the regular report is only going to include something like fifteen sources. In this one, we have many, many more. So it just keeps on going, and these these uh, agents are actually able to self reflect collaborate with one another, pass feedback between one another. And that just um, enables the researcher to be much more, uh, much more kind of uh, reflective. Uh, okay, so in this case, it's now generating, um, it's generating uh, a table of contents. And the beauty of that is, uh, the table of contents will be used to generate the final, very much larger report. So instead of it being a short, simple report, it, it uh, runs GPT researcher once, agents go back and forth, try to generate a table of contents, which they believe will create for a more thorough, in-depth type of report. And, uh, and, then, and then once it generates its table of contents, it's going to make a summary per each, uh, per each item on the table of contents. And then it'll kind of uh, go through every single, every single chapter, uh, every single piece piece of the table of contents and start fleshing it out. And it's it's uh, the beauty of that is every time that it's reflecting on more stuff, um, it enables it to find inconsistencies and verify 
that is actually uh, trying, is staying true to the source and it just keeps on uh, digesting more and more information and uh, cross-referencing and, and all that other good stuff. And here we go. This is finally our final, final report has now been written. Understanding GPT researchers multi-agent flow. This is, it begins here with a table of contents, the concept of multi-agent systems, a bunch of stuff over there, the concept of multi-agent systems, dot, dot, dot. And there it is, GPT researcher and overview. And the beauty of th thing of that is I haven't seen anything more accurate than this in terms of uh, researching. Uh, I like to personally ask, ask questions about, um, about the GPT researcher flow and it helps me uh, understand stuff a little bit better as well, but it's all up to you depending on where you want to go. And the great thing about this, I haven't shown you this, this yet, which is uh, please summarize. It also has this uh, neat little chat feature as well uh, when you run it via the full stack application. And the great thing about that is it takes my entire report and starts crunching it. So I think that's a really powerful feature um especially if you're doing a chat bot or something like that and maybe you want the chat bot to research a specific topic but then you want it to go very very small uh i'll say make uh make it two three sentences uh, make a two three sentences make a two three sentence summary all right guys and this is pretty much how we're able to to kind of uh, generate a report. It's thought through the report very, very in depth, just like a human would. And then it's able to spit out just a very, very consolidated little piece of information. And we can go ahead and chat with it. If I'm working on coding problems, I can also pass code back and forth. I can tell it to research some sort of documentation. And there's a lot, a lot of uh, possibilities there, all within uh, uh, mainly just limited by your own imagination. All right, guys? So, Again, feel free to join us in the Discord. If you have follow-up questions, definitely go ahead and clone and play with the repo. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one.